from 41 Seaver Way. Welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the New York Mets. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, it's trade deadline day. Always an interesting day on the MLB schedule. Usually a lot of excitement for fans and stress for the front offices. What about the teams and specifically the players? Boog, I think there are three perspectives. You're that guy that's saying, hey, I want to get traded somewhere, maybe to a contender, maybe to a place that I have an opportunity to play every day. On the flip side, you're that guy that's very content with where you are. You've heard some rumors, perhaps. You can't wait until the deadline has come and gone and you're still staying put. And then the third person is that teammate that's looking and saying, we got a shot. I hope we add the piece or two that we need that will put us over the top. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Man at first, here's a big power Let's threat. Jay Mack. Mack. There's a swing and a drive. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Coming home. The relay, but it's offline. It's 1-1. One -one. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. One out, runner at second. And now it's the Batting polar four. bear, Pete Alonso. The first baseman, Pete Alonso. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back that right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Man, it's second here with two away. Jake Berger up now for the Mets. Two outs and one in scoring position. Bounced up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a throw, and they don't get the out. So impressive that he was able to fight off that fastball up and in like that. I mean, he really let it get deep on him as well. That's great that back control. First and third, two away. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And a swing and a miss. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Two outs. Runner on first. first Alex Kirilov, the next to hit. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's it for a strike. Throw to second. Out there. And the inning is over. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Now batting. The catcher. Jay. Matt. In the air, right field, Kepler moving under this one. Makes the catch. Two away down. Now batting. Catcher. Mack measures six feet, two inches, 215 pounds, and he was a sixth round draft pick in 2023. And there's a rocket into the outfield. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Now well, back. he's really First slowed baseman. the game down, and it's like he's moving in oh, full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Here comes a pitch. That one ripped. Cannon going back. On the warning track, and hauls it in. 
So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. We're through five. It's the Mets two and the Twins one. Here's Alex Kirilov. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion. And a base hit. Here's the throw. The tag, and he's out. That really hurts right there. This is no time to gamble. When you're down in the ball game, you've got to be sure if you're going to advance a run or even try to score right there that you're going to be safe. Just a poor decision. One down. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog. Not sure what the numbers say, but clearly. Oh, this ball's down. And that could bring in a run. Now I think the base runner thought he had a better jump on that than the third base coach clearly as he tried to score from second. Third base coach was trying to hold him up, had both arms up, but he ran through the stop sign, and that's a costly base runner. So up next for New York, now Jay Mack. This guy with light tower power. Line drive, caught! Sweet grab right there. That's the deal. These players just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series, you got another team coming in, and you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further. Get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well, and these players, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark.